Creepy Conversations will be moved to next Monday. We hope you enjoy this little short. Stay creepy. The Witch's Ball by James A. Willis and Andrew Henderson. In Myrtle Hill Cemetery in Valley City, Ohio, a spherical marble stone marks the grave of a woman who was a tormented soul. What form the torment took varies from story to story, but all portray the woman, a Miss Stotzkopf, as suffering mental and physical abuse at the hands of her husband and young sons. Finally, the woman plotted her revenge she decided to poison the family's water supply, the well in the backyard. She killed her entire family, then dumped them all into the well. With her family missing, it didn't take long for the neighbors to become suspicious of Miss Stotzkopf. The bodies were eventually discovered and the woman was arrested. She was deemed unfit to stand trial and instead was committed to a state mental hospital for the rest of her life. Upon her death, her remains were relocated to Myrtle Hill Cemetery and buried beneath the heavy round stone. A variation of the legend is that the woman in question was also a witch who turned to the dark side to seek her revenge. She's said to have practiced her craft in and around the cemetery, including the nearby woods. It is also said that after the bodies of her husband and sons were discovered, the townspeople stoned the woman to death. Her body was then buried under the heavy sphere to keep her from rising from the grave. Such precautions did little good because the woman's spirit is said to have found a way to escape the grave and return to the places where she practiced her magic. It is also believed by many that the stone itself has soaked up some of the woman's evil explaining why it feels warm to the touch in the winter and freezing in the summer. It is said that snow and leaves don't fall near the monument, suggesting that even nature is fearful of the witch's ball. <laughs>